Hello, everybody. Happy Thursday. I'm uh, eating some pizza here. All right, so we've got some reading to do before we can start this Sudoku here. But let's say hi to people. Hi, Idit. How you doing? Sayori, Jessica, Laszlo, Derek, Sotek, Rip Clown, Tom DeCuber, Kenny, Plotbite. Welcome, welcome. So this puzzle is going to involve end chains. So we're going to refresh ourselves from the LMD page what an end chain is. So an end chain is a set of end cells in a row or column that point to each other in a path to form a cycle. Here's an example of a five chain in a row. So if you notice the columns are labeled one to nine. We can start at anywhere we want, but let's start at the seven. Seven. Um, goes to column seven, so it points at the four, which then sends you to column four. So now you have a five, that sends you to column five. There's a three there, so that sends you to, col uh, sends you to column three. There's a two there, and that sends you back to column two, and now you have a loop or a cycle. So digits in a row are always going to be in one or more cycles. You could have a self-cycle, so like a one here would just be a cycle of one, but it's impossible for there to not be a cycle if you think about it. Um, so you, once you pick a digit, that's going to be part of a cycle. And the cycle's length is how many digits it visits before getting back to itself. So we have n-chain clues. So a pair of colored boxes, colored boxes in a row or column, indicates that there's an n-chain that stays between the boxes and includes both boxes. So this three and this three, for example. The length of the end chain is given in the top left corner, so there's a three in the top left corner there. Blue boxes show end chains in rows, and red boxes show end chains in columns. So these fours point at each other. Hopefully that's pretty clear. So we have a four length end chain that stays, that uses these two clo clues and stays in between them. So this goes to four, which then goes to three, which then goes to one. And that is a three length end chain that stays in between these boxes. So now we can do the actual puzzle here. We have a couple of additional rules. So obviously there's no normal Sudoku rules. So let me go over what that means for those who may not know. So in normal Sudoku, we have this nine by nine grid. So we have 81 cells in total, and they are in a nine by nine grid of cells. So in every single row, we're gonna have the digits one to nine exactly once. So because there's nine cells and nine numbers, that means we're going to fill every single cell with a number and we can't repeat any numbers and we're going to have one through nine. It's the exact same in columns in every column, this column, this column, this column, etc. We're going to have the digits one to nine exactly once. So again, you can't repeat any numbers and you must fill every cell. And it's the same for these demarcated three by three boxes. They have the extra bold border around them. So in these three by three boxes, there's nine of those as well we are going to have the digits one to nine exactly once. So that's how Sudoku works. Additionally, we have these thermometers in the grid. So there's gonna be a circle with a line coming out of it. The circle is called the bulb. If you think about a, a, an old style thermometer where there's the, the bulb with the mercury or whatever substance in it, some liquid in it, and then it rises up the, the stick of the thermometer. Um, 
depending on the temperature. And so as you move up the thermometer, the temperature rises just like here. So we're going to start with a low number in the bulb, and then it's going to get larger as you move along the bulb. So that, that could mean we have eight here and nine here for this little short one. So, but it still is starting with the lowest number in the bulb and it's getting larger. So here we could start with say two, then we could go four, five, six, and we could go eight, nine. That would work. What we can't do is repeat a digit or go lower. So that's how thermometers work. And then of course we have our end chain um, mechanic that we talked about earlier. And those are the rules for this puzzle. I should say this is called Entangled and it's by Jacob and Woofers, Woofers FG. All right. I'm going to start by penciling the options for this thermal because it is relatively long. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Yeah. This is one, two, three, four, two, three, four, five, three, four, five, six, four, five, six, seven, five, six, seven, eight, and six, seven, eight, nine. The other ones are not worth marking. The links, yes. Absolutely. Here we go. And the bet cell is row one, column one. There you go. This is a pretty restricted end chain here. So something we can say about any box is it cannot contain a number, any of these little end chain clue boxes, is it can't contain a number outside of the range. So like if this were an eight, we would just immediately break our rules because we'd be leaving the range of, of our uh, end chain of four. So seven, eight, nine cannot go in, in, in these two cells, but it could go in between. But one of them's not going to go in between, which is a little bit interesting. Um, because we need four cells. These are six cells. One, two, three, four, five, six. The six cells, we need four of them to be um, within one to six, which means only two of them could be outside of that, and they'd be in a different end chain. Um, so we have to put at least one of seven, eight, nine outside of these fours. And I don't think this thermo is restricted enough yet to force that somewhere like here but well we know that the nine the nine is going to be in here and it's not part of the end chain we do know that hmm this can't be nine because it would move you know the end chain can't be one or nine um and these can't be nine because they're in the they're not at the end of the thermo, so you can't get larger than nine. So nine is in one of these two cells actually, and it's not part of our end chain. Yeah, end chains definitely never overlap, um, unless they're the same length. Then they could, but I don't think we have that situation here. Hey, David Ratner, how you doing? Also, Gary, and more crabs. So what does it mean for these to, to overlap each other? Well, we have, oh, this is interesting, actually. I think we can start here. So six plus three is nine. So these, these represent two different end chains, and they're the only cycles that can actually appear in the row. One of them is going to be six of the digits. One of them is going to be three of the digits. Well, we know that the six cycle, which occupies these cells-ish, does not um, have a nine in it. Mm. No, I can't quite do that, can I? It means that one of these three cells is a nine, but I was going to say it would mean that, well, we know this one can't be the nine because it would self-reference. So one of these two is a nine. I don't know if I can narrow that down further, though. They also can't overlap because they'd be the same cycle length then, because they'd be the same cycle.
Okay, this five cycle contains the nine and the two. Uh, okay. Nice. Okay, row three is good, as Derek pointed out. So where can I put a nine? Well, nine can't be in the four cycle. Okay, well, first of all, let's do the thermal logic. Nine can't be anywhere in these cells. Let's, let's make those green for a second. Green is where nine can't be in the row just by thermal logic, because that's not the end of a thermo. We also aren't part of the four cycle, because the four cycle doesn't go to the five cycle. Um, and also because that would be outside the range of the four cycle. And then this can't be a nine because then it would be, it would self-reference and this five would be a cycle of one, not a cycle of five. So that leaves just here for a nine. So we have a digit, very nice. Hey Okazu, you're welcome to watch. And that affects this entire thermo, removing the top digit. So now is it interesting to note that six is part of this five cycle? Not yet. Uh, I only saw your message once, though, because it... Eight now. Hmm. Is that interesting? Okay, so similarly in row three, Derek's encouraging me to look at eights. So we know eights are going to be in the four cycle, so we can automatically remove these two. Um, eight can't be midway along a thermo because nine is used up. These are already marked as not eight, so we might as well do those as well. Nine is not eight, so that leaves just here. This is eight. So the cycle goes from here to here, which then continues. What about seven? Seven might not be as interesting. So we don't know which cycle seven's in. But we do know that seven is either here, wait, seven is here or here. So seven's in the five cycle. And so is nine. So we know all of these cells are in the five cycle. We only get one more. And two is in it. We now know the digits in the five cycle. Two, seven, six. Wait, do we know the four? We know the last one. Hey, Josh. I thought I, I thought we knew the last one, but maybe we don't. We know two, seven, six, and nine are involved. Hmm. Jack in color. We can make this uh, yellow. This is a yellow cycle. Can row three have a self-ref? True, yeah. So we know row three has no self-reference digit, so that can clean things up. 
So this can't be a 4, and this can't be a 5. Hmm. So this four and this four, we can call those, I don't know, blue, I guess. So we know whatever, where the one goes, that's blue. I think this one has to be blue. And my logic here is if this were yellow, that means three is in our cycle. So we'd have two, four, six, and nine in our cycle. Two, four, six, nine. Oh no, but it's a five cycle. Hmm. Hold on. We'd have two, four, six, nine in our cycle. And then also three or five. No, that's okay. That could be yellow. Yeah, one is in one of these two. And that's blue. Okay, this is a small point, I guess. Mm, no, I don't know. If this is five, this has to be six. And six puts it... Okay, this is five, that's a six. And that puts it on yellow. So then, the, so these two would both be yellow if this was a five. So how do we do that? Hey, Gaming with Penguin. Thanks so much for your kind words. Hey, HB, how you doing? So is there a problem with that? So that would mean we'd have to do five to six. Six would have to, wait, five, five would go here. Six would go here. That would go to nine. Nine would then have to have a two in it. That's not possible. I don't know if this is intended, but this doesn't work. So just to go over this slowly, we don't know these are yellow, but if this was five, that would make it point to here, which then includes, it points to six. That, but that puts these in the yellow. Hey, Untitled Squid in Dallas, how you doing? So now, now yellow's done, yellow has its five, but how does this work? Five goes to six, six goes to nine, nine goes here. Where's nine gonna point? Well, there's only one cell it can point to, which is two. But if I fill a 2 here, then this thermo's broken. And then 2 would obviously need to be a 4, but... So this is not a 5, this is a 3. No idea if that's intended, but I saw it. Yeah, I, I responded to Kenny's point. One's in one of these two. And it's blue. So 
So Ice Cube's question is, for a three cycle, is it guaranteed that the ends always point to, one of the ends points to one of the other ends? Um, well, I, I mean, if you think about it, we're going to have one more cell in the cycle. Let's make these purple. So for purple, um, one of the ends is going to point to the non-end purple cell, and one of the ends is going to point to the other end. So what this e either, but not both, this is exclusive, either this is a four or this is a nine, is what we could say. Seven in row three. Okay, so Derek's pointing out where does the 7 go in this row now. So 7 could go here, but not any earlier. None of those are 7. And 7 could go at the end of this thermo, but not any earlier, because 8 and 9 are used. So no matter what, 7 is in yellow. So 7 is yellow. That's nice. And now, one is not yellow, so one goes here, and it's blue. Which means the three has to be blue. Which means this has to be yellow. It's not allowed to point to four, so this is a six. We go seven, eight. Okay, so six goes to nine, which goes to here. Um. Hold on, this this here, let's look at the blue. So uh, let's start here. Three goes to one, which goes to eight. That's here, that has to point back to three. So this is a four. These we can at least do a triple and then figure out from there. So we got two, five, um, seven, and that's it. So that's a two, five, seven. This must be less than four. So this is the two. Um, so how does this cycle work? 6 goes to 9. That goes to 5 or 7. 5 would cut it off too short. 5 would be a 3 length. So it has to go to 7, which then goes to 2, which then goes to 5. That works. Well, row 3 is done. I think I'm going to get rid of the color once we finish the, the row. <laughs> row dance. When you say the word touch, your lips don't touch, but when you say the word separated, your lips do touch. Yeah, it's funny. Uh, three people, a few people already lost the bet, huh? It's a shame. All right, well, we know that, let's call these purple. Purple is is encompassing, um, we don't know what. We don't know if red's part of purple or not. Row eight, column four. All right, so let's let's thermo this up. So this can be an eight max, so eight, seven, six, five. So this this can't exceed five. So it would be a two or a four or a five. Oh, but this can't be seven or six. So if this were eight, this still could be seven or six. This would be five, four, three. So this is a two. That is interesting. Um, yeah, good spot, Laszlo. Uh, 
All right. This row has no self-references. I wonder if that's exploitable. So one can't go in any of these cells. This one sees these three, and this can't be a one because it would self-reference. So definitely one's in one of these three. Um, not entirely sure where it goes. One spot left for one row six? I don't follow. Oh. Hmm? No. I don't see it. One in row four. It's up here. Oh. These three cycles can't include one, two, or three. So that's not a one. That's true. Hey, Chaya, how you doing? I wonder if this is a vertical one is interesting. We can call these, well, we don't know what to call these yet. Actually, let's get rid of these. We know these are, let's call these orange. Eric's encouraging me to look at this and see it can't be a four. So if this was a four, then this would be go to here, it would be a two. If that goes to here, it would be not a nine. Oh, but then we would have definitely these would definitely not be in the four cycle, because we're already a cycle of three. So four, two, something would all be in the same cycle. So we're not allowed to include these two, but now there's only three cells that could be involved in the four cycle. So yeah, this can't be a four. This is a five, for what it's worth. Okay, so the 5 and the 9 aren't in this cycle. Yeah, because 5 references itself. So this, this, and this are in the same cycle. We'll call those blue this time. And oh, and it involves 2. So that's not the 9. That places the 9. Oops, 9. That makes this blue. And these are a triple from 1... Four, six.
Can't self-reference, so that's not a 1 and that's not a 6. This can't go to 2 or that makes a small cycle, so that one's not a 4. Hey Raccoon, how you doing? So if this was a 4, that would go 2, and then 6, and then 1. And if this were a 6, that would go 4, 2, 1. Okay, they both work. Interesting. It's not a 3. That's not an 8. This is 8 or 9. This can't self-reference, so it's not an 8. 3, 7 pair places 8 and 9. That's a self-reference. Oh, this 7 looks down, so that's a 3. So that puts 3 in here, which puts 7 in here, and that's our full cycle. Nice. So these are two... These are two 8 pair. We know the order. And I hope this makes a cycle. 8 goes to 3, goes to 7, goes to 2, goes to 8. Nice. So that cycle's done. We can get rid of these colors. Thanks for letting me know, Derek. Hopefully that's fixed. This is a 7. Nine in box eight is definitely placed. These two nines look in. One in column nine. Ah, oh, one's in one of these two, so it's not here. So yes, that place is a one. True, I don't really need this color. The chocolate teapot will uh, resolve itself. One in box two is here. Hmm. Okay, so these are resolved, these are resolved, and these are resolved. So maybe we should look at this row. Oh, this looks down to box 8. Okay, that resolves it. 4, 6, and 1. Alright. That's a 3. Two in box two. This is one of these two. In fact, we can just triple this up. We need two and we need what? Four, five? That's not five, that's not four. Ones look down, placing a one in this box. So these are six, seven, eight. Two in box one. Ah, this can't be a two because that can't be a one. So the two is placed. Um, who's in one of these two? This is a triple. So we have one, two, three, we need four, five, and six. This can't be a four because it would stick it on the three cycle. Oh no, it can be on the three cycle, never mind. I'm not sure why you said it's down to five or six, but. Um. Well, 
Row six, column four is either five, six, or seven due to indexing. Well, it can't be one, two, three due to the, due to the cycle. So it's from four, five, six, seven. Oh, but it can't self-reference, so it's not a four. Okay. Okay, Wolfer is reminding me of something I said about three cycles earlier, which is one of the ends points at the other one. So this one can't point at nine, so this one must point at four. Okay, so that is a four. So we're going to go four, and then we're going to include either five, six, or seven, which is going to point at nine. So it's not this one, so it can't be a six. So this one or this one is a nine, and it's in our blue cycle. One of these is in the blue cycle. Um, I wonder if this quad is interesting for the column. We need two, four, eight, nine. Well, this is not a two because it can't go down to one. That's not a two. This five six pair might be interesting. Oh, this one looks up. This place is that one. Um, these twos look down, and that two looks over. So this is the two in the box. Hey, Chip. Oh, you lost the internet? I'm glad you could join us. Um, so, right, these cells must be part of the sixth cycle. We can make those orange. And then either five or seven is in the cycle. This is not an eight, this is a column. So eight's one of these. So let's see, this needs to be from, let's just, for the cycle, it need, all of these need to be one, two, three, and then either, f and, then, and a six, and then either five or seven. We'll see if how restricted that is. One and two can't be in e any of these cells, and one can't be here. So we know a one is involved, so that places the one here, actually. That's nice. Um, we know two is involved, so the two is placed here. So this can't be a six. Oh, and eight. Did I miss one? I missed an eight. Okay. We still know one is involved and two is involved. Oh, right. One's in one of these. We already knew that. Hmm. All right, well, let's clean this up. This can't be eight or six. Um, this can't be five. Wow. This can't be eight. These eights look up. This can't be eight.
And we can't self-index, so that's not a 3. That's not a 6. And then we can clean up this thermo. Yeah, I was waiting to get just the cycle stuff and Sudoku done. So 7 doesn't work here for the thermo. 3 doesn't work here. So 5 and 6 don't work here. Hey, Mephesto, how you doing? So this, that can't be an 8. Oh, four looks left. That's not a four. Oh, sick with COVID. Sorry to hear that. I feel like COVID is surging again. I know so many people with COVID now. I've been sick. I tested negative for COVID, but that doesn't mean anything. Um... Yeah, latest variants are just uber contagious. When's the next booster? Row 6, column 4 is 7. <clears throat> okay, if this is 7, that puts 7 in the cycle, which forces this to be 9, because the 4 is here. So 7, 9, and it breaks the other cells, I'm being told. Um, this would be 8, 1, oh, these would both be 8, yeah. So if this is 7, that makes this, this one the blue one, just by pointing at it, which means that this is now the 9, right? So this is 8. And this is eight. Very cool. So that's not a seven, that's a five. That makes this one blue, which means it's gotta to go to nine. And now this is this is orange, so it could be the one. So we have one, two, three, six, and eight as our options, not a two. Not a six, because the five six pair. Ah, the five six pair. I forgot to apply. This nine sees those. Five looks left. Very nice. Three. None of these are threes. So three goes here to seven or eight. Oh, the five looks up. Thank you. Um, that means this is a six or seven, I think. Okay. Six is placed in row six. True. Where does six go? None of these. So this is a six. So this can't be a two, or we'd make a small cycle here. So that's not a two. And now two is limited to this cell. And this is a one. We should be able to figure out the cycle now. Oh yeah, this 5 sees here. That's a 7, that's an 8. Let's hope it cycles. So 3, 8, 2, 6, 7, 1. Perfect. And we can unhighlight. Um, I think we've done all of the cycles. Is it just Sudoku now? This is 6 and 7. Leaving a 6, 8 pair. Um, so what is this? Two, three, four, eight. Not an eight. That's not a two. That's not a two. Uh, this is a quad. We have one, two, we need three, seven, eight, nine. So that's not nine, that's not three. None of those are eight. 
No, those are seven. Um, yes, these eights look down, placing this eight, that gives us six and eight. This is a quad, let's just fill it. Uh, three, four, five, and seven. These are not seven. These are not three. That's not a three either. So the three is placed. Four, five, seven is left. Yep, this is a quad also. One, four, five, and six. These are not ones. These are not sixes. These are not fours. These are, this isn't a one. So that leaves the one here. Hey Lily, how you doing? Spamming is against the rules. If uh, you're gonna get timed out for that, you're welcome as long as you don't spam. Let's see here. Uh, let's see. Six looks over, so that's a five and a six. This is a quad. We need four, five, seven, nine. Those, these are not fives. Uh, four, five, seven, nine. That's not a nine. Okay, that's not that interesting. Maybe this column, because I see a four and a seven here. So we have, what do we have? One, two, three. We need four, five, six, seven. And that's not four or seven. Four, five. So that's six. Um, this has to be bigger than six, so it's seven or nine. That makes a four, seven, nine triple. So what's this one? That's a three. Um, so this is four, seven, or nine. That cell's getting narrowed down. This is a quad, might as well fill it. It's the last, last ones I haven't filled. Three, five, six, and nine. These aren't threes, these aren't sixes. Hmm. Seven in row two. True, what did I not clean up here? Three, five, oh, the seven looks left. Okay, so that's nine. These are not nines. So these are not fives. That's not a nine. Box two resolved. Certainly looks like it ought to be. Uh, yes, this four. So that's two and five. That's not a two. That places this two. That's a three. Eight. That looks back left, four and eight. So that's not a four. That four also looks like there. That, oop, I broke it. Where's my mistake? Did I just miss seven here? I think this is a seven. Let's go with that. That's a four, that's a five, that's a nine. Three and seven. That's not a five. Um. Nine looks up. That's six and nine. That's five and three and five and four and six. Four, seven, five, four, seven, and we're done. That cell was a seven. Congrats to anyone who bet seven. Good puzzle as always, Jacob and Wilfer. Always enjoy your collabs. I feel like I'm understanding the cycle stuff a bit better, too.
Alrighty. So this is Kenny's puzzle. Kenny's a super supporter, so Kenny got to skip the queue. And this is actually a puzzle Kenny made for Jessica's birthday, my sister. So yeah, Jessica's birthday was yesterday, for those who don't know. Happy belated birthday to Jessica. And so let's go over our rules here. And so that's all the seven sixes, July 6th. Uh, Jessica is 41, so maybe the 42s are for her next birthday. But <laughs> Oh, wait, Jessica's 29, you're right. Starting the 42nd year. Twenty one, yeah, maybe. How old does that make me? David Ratner donated seven dollars through Super Chat. Forgetting Betzel right. Also maybe should shoot some dice in the future smile. Thanks, David, for the super chat. Congrats on getting the Betzel right. Let me know how, how your dice goes. All right, that's the bet cell. All right, we have normal Sudoku rules. Digits increase from the bulb end. So standard thermometers, we just did those last puzzles. So starting from the bulb end, digits must strictly increase as you move along the thermo. Uh, I'm assuming the thermo goes straight here and this thermo goes up. Otherwise, that doesn't make any sense. Um, so this thermo is like this and this thermo is like this. And then it can continue that way. Digits in killer cages sum to the number in the top left corner of the cage. So these are cages. So whatever, if these, these two digits would sum to 7. So I could do, say, for example, 3, 4. That does sum to 7. Also do 2, 5. Um, digits in the direction of the little killer sum to the number in the state of dice. So these are standard little killers. So let's look at this one here. This is pointing along this diagonal here. So that means these three cells sum to 7. And um, these are sandwich clues. So... For these columns, you, wherever the 1 and 9 happen to end up, say here and here, that means that the cells in between the 1 and 9 sum to the value outside. So they would sum to 7, for example. So we could do 3, 4, and that would work. And so we have to find where the 1 and 9 go first, and then between the 1 and 9 we're going to get that sum. So those are the rules. And for future where I might just hit the uh, the bookmark button, so you're going to have to go back and find where I started talking about the rules. But, um, Rickman says, the Skunk Works Sum Dots pack just hit the CTC archive, so that's awesome. Go check that out if you uh, want to play that pack. All right. So I already see something, which is that three three cells adding to seven that can't repeat are one, two, four. That's the only way to do it. Um, and now this thermo, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. So this, this cell is maximum 4, but it can't be 1, 2, or 4. So this is a 3. This can't be 4, so this is 5. And this just goes like that. And this thermo is also done as a result. Uh, and this is a pair. Uh, 8, 9 pair. So let's see here. These are one five or two four. Oh, this one and two look up. That makes this a four. That's all right. We we like a nice breezy puzzle every once in a while. This is one two three for the six little killer. Um. We can't put a 1 or a 9 here because that would put 8 in the sum. So what can I do with that? Nothing really yet. This is 1, 5, or 2, 4 also. This is 1, 5, or 2, 4. Hey, Neil, how you doing?
Ah, this can't be a three, so this is four here. So that's not four, so that's not two. Uh, one six or two five, but we can't be three four because of this four already in the column. Oh, this 6 also can't be in the sandwich zone because we can't put a 1 with it because 1 is a crust. So these aren't 1, 9, and these aren't 1, 9. So this is actually a 1, 9 pair here. And we know the order. These are quads. 2, 3, 4, 5. These are not 4s. Uh, these are 5s. So this is a 6, 7 because we need 6, 7 somewhere in the row. Which means we have one, two, three, four, we need five and eight up here. This one does look left, that's two and one. So this is not one or two, so that's a three. These are not threes. That one looks right, that's a two, that's a one. This is a triple. We need two, three, and eight, it looks like. Ah, yes. So I have a two already in this row. So it's a four or five pair, and this is a two, three pair. Six in the sandwich is either a six by itself or it's two, four. Hmm. Three C's left. What three? Oh, this three C's up. Okay. Um, so that's resolved. That two looks down, so that's not two four, that's one five. So now the seven cage needs to be either, it can't be two, it can't be one six, it can't be two five, so it is three four. Um, this one looks down, meaning that's 2, 4, so this is not 2, 5, it's 1, 6, so that's not a 1, and that's not a 5. Um, Hmm. I feel like these sandwiches are important, but I can't quite grasp what they're doing yet. Oh, 3, 4 looks up with this 3. That places this 3. Um, 4 is in one of these 2. 5 is in one of these 2. 6s are in one of these 2. 7s go in here, and 8 and 9 are unrestricted. We do have these 42 diagonals. Two in column two looks down. Oh, I did that. I'm curious about this quad, actually. We have one, two, three. We need four, seven, eight, nine. Okay, that's not as exciting as I thought, but that's not a four. 
Two is placed on box seven. Yes, it is. That makes four and two. This is not a two, and that's not a two, so that places this two. Okay, I'm going to ask some silly questions. Can this be 1 or 9? I'm going to green what can't be 1 or 9. If this were 1 or 9, this couldn't be a 6, um, so it would have to be a 2 or 4, but then this can't be a 2 or a 4. So, no, this is not 1 or 9. Um, if this were 1 or 9, this would have to be 6 with a 1, 9 here, but that can't be... Yeah, this can't be 6, 2, or 4, so 1 or 9 can't be here. If this were a 1 or a 9, I guess we'd go 6, 1, 9. And that seems okay. So that's, that's okay. If this were 1 or 9, we'd go 6, 1, 9. So yeah, I think it's not, no, no longer possible for us to do, yeah, 6, 2, 4. So we're either going to be 1, 9s here or 1, 9s here. So let's do the same thing here. These are not 1-9s. Oops. So if this were a 1-9, how would we do 7? This would this can't be a 4, so that doesn't work. Um, so that's not 1-9. And now actually we can look at this row and ask where 1-9 go, and they can, oh, they can go here. 9 can go here. Um, okay, never mind. And 1 can go here. That's a silly question. Um, can this be 1 or 9? Well, it would have to be a 9, and then this would be 4 and 1, and that works. Right, that does limit 6 in this column. Yeah, that's a, that's a, that's a good point. 6 is in one of these two. Um, 1 and 9 box 5 are placed. True. That is that is an easier question. So now we know where they now we know how this sandwiches do. So this is six and this is one or nine. And then this is a four and this is a one or nine. And so now this has to be six and one. That sells a six. This is five and one. This is not a four. Never was. Yes, Jayla, good spot. Um, this is a triple, so we need two, seven, eight. We can place the eight. Worm one, nice. Congrats, worm. This is a six, just for the box. These sixes look in. So this is seven, eight, nine. That's not a nine. This isn't a four, so that's three and four. This four looks up. That's five and four. Forty two diagonal. Okay. So I guess we're doing some math now. Um, let's just highlight these. So the givens add to 2 plus 5 plus 3 plus 5 plus 9 plus 3. So those add to 27. So we need another 15. So if this were a 7, we'd have 7 plus 7 plus 5, and that's too much. So this has to be the 2 and the 7. So now we have 13 from these two. So we're 5, 8, we must be. Yeah, let me just double check. 2 plus 5 plus 8 plus 3 plus 5 plus 2 plus 9 plus 3 plus 5 is 42. Yeah, so this is an 8 and this is a 5. And now the other 42. Let me do this triple first. 5, 7, 9. That's not a 9. It's not a 5. 
in this cell, oh, this is a pair now. One, two, three, three, eight pair. Do I have any restrictions on that? No, but it does make a three, eight pair there. Um, so this is seven and this is nine. That's fun. Uh, eight looks up, nine and eight. All right, let's do this math. We've got 7 plus 2 plus 5 plus 8 plus 5 plus 6 already, 33. 42 minus 33 is 9. So the remaining cells add to 9, so this is obviously a 1. So these two cells add to 8, the only way to do that is 5 and 3. Nice. And that diagonal's done. Row 5, column 3 looks really far away at row 5, column 4. It makes that a 9. True. I don't know how I'm expected to see cells so far away from each other. Um, five and seven. Okay, we know the order. This is three and eight. Let's see. So what do we got here? This is no seven or nine. That's not eight. That's not eight. I'm sure it's just done if I find the right cell. How's this not resolved yet? Oh, this two, it is resolved. That there's a two in the in the row. So that's five and one. Uh four, seven, nine is left. That's not a four. Or a seven, so that's nine. That's five, that's six. These are not nines. That's not a nine. This four looks up, so that's a seven, that's a four, eight, and seven. That's six and seven. Now we're talking. Now we just need to fill the rest of the digits. So we're going to do that. We're the only place they can go. There we go. Very nice, Kenny. Thank you. Oh, gotta adjust the capture real quick here. Oh. All right, well, we're going to hold it up, so we're going to do it anyway. But this was marked hard, and, and so I wasn't supposed to do this one yet. <laughs> but Matt Pesto's here, so I think we're okay. I'm going a little out of order, but it's my cue, my choice, right? All right. Um... So this is an 8 by 8 so I guess that's the bet cell. How you doing, Rippin' and Lippin' TV? <laughs> Tips on what to bet. I recommend one through eight. All right, this is called With the Crusts Cut Off by Math Pesto. Placing the digits one to eight once each in every row, column, and region, 
But we have to determine where the regions are. So what does a region mean, for those who don't know? Well, normally in a Sudoku, like if you remember a 9 by 9 Sudoku, we'd have a region like this. And an 8 by 8 it would be like this, normally. And which is a set of orthogonally connected cells that of 8 cells that contain the digits 1 to 8 exactly once. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be drawing some regions in the grid. It could be like this, for example. This could be a region. It's just 8 connected cells that have the digits 1 to the 8 exactly once, and we're going to place 8 of them in the grid somehow. We're going to have to find where they go. Um, a gray square contains an even digit, so this is even, so we may as well write 2, 4, 6, 8 on there. And the circle is odd, so we can do 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, and it can't be 7. Already doing logic. Um, <laughs> oh, and it can't be 9, because there is no 9 in this puzzle. Um, Clues outside the grid give the sum of the digits between the 1 and 8 in that row column. So here this is 10, right? So we're going to find where the 1 and the 8 go, and then we're going to make the digits in between sum to 10. So we could do, for example, 2, 3, 5, and that would sum to 10. So in between the 1 and the 8, they sum to the digit out to the not the digit, to the number outside the grid in that row or column. It's called a sandwich clue. If a sandwich clue is given, the digits contributing to the sandwich sum all exist within a single region. And there are boundaries separating both the 1 and 8 from the sandwich sum. Okay, so if we had this sum in this column, these would be in a region, this would be in a region, and this would be in a region, and we'd have a boundary here and here between regions. So that's how that would work. All right. And that's likely how we're going to have to figure out the regions. So how do we want to start here? Is 25... Okay, so the sum of the digits 1 to 8 is 36. And so we subtract 9 from that, and that's 27. So the sum of the digits in a... The sum of the... The, the largest sandwich we could have, if we had 1 and 8 here, would be 27. And I'm, I'm going to double check with the calculator because I don't trust my head at all right now. I'm not feeling well. So we're going to do 1 to 8. Uh, we're going to do 2 to, let's do 2 to 7. 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7. That is 27. So we're missing 2. So basically the Audis, as we might call them, are 2, which just ha has to be just the numeral 2. So we're going to have something like 2, 1, 8, or maybe we'll have 2, 1, 8 like this. But that means that there's a 2 in one of these, and then a 1, 8, potentially up to here. But these are all going to be a sandwich clue, and they're, they're all in the same region. Let's make that purple. Um, so that's a region. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so 23 is missing 4, as Jayla points out, which also is just the numeral 4. So these are also in a region together. Um, I'm going to give them a different color, but this could technically be... Okay, let's see if this could actually be a region. So we'd be missing... No, we couldn't. We'd be, we're all sandwiched innards here, um, and so we would be missing the 1 and the 8. Um, I'm sure there's other reasons, but that's the easiest one to see. So these are two separate regions divided this way. Um, And because of this 9, we can't have the 1, 8 pair here, because that would be a 0. So one of these is purple or blue or both.
19. So the Audis for 19 are 8. So adding to 8, yeah, we need two, we need, um, without a 1, it's going to be two cells exactly out, out, right? So we could reach 3 in. So these two are a region. I'm actually just going to connect them instead of coloring them because we don't know we don't know that they're not blue. So we know that these aren't ones or eights. So the eleven fits in here. So the one eight could be like this with these three adding to eleven. How would they do that though? Um, two four is six, so we'd be two four five. That could add to eleven. This cannot be sandwich though. This is not sandwich. I don't know how I'm going to color this. I guess for now I'll just put an X in there to show it's not sandwich. It's not a sandwich end. I mean, it's, it is part of the sandwich always. What am I missing here? We're supposed to ask if this can be a one. I don't see why not. I suspect the even odds are disambiguating where the ones and eights go. Because <laughs> the sandwich clues by themselves cannot disambiguate the crusts, so one is to assume that at least one of these two is a is a sandwich crust. But that's meta. If row seven, column two, three, hmm. hey, chaotic, how you doing? The given three can't purple for what it's worth. It can't purple. Oh, because the the sandwich clue for the twenty five is only missing one, two, and eight. So the three can't be the three can't be purple. It's some other region. You can call it. It's not blue either, right? Yeah, it can't quite be blue, so we'll make it yellow. Since row 7, column 2, and row 7, column 3 can't both be crusts, so there is a crust in row 8. Yeah, there's other reasons it can't be blue. Um, here I am saying th these can't both be crust. That's true because it breaks the nine sandwich. So there is a crust in row eight. Yeah, there must be a, there must be a crust in row eight. Which means there is a crust in either row two, column two, row two, column three. 
Okay, yeah, I kind of follow that. So maybe we can talk about this backwards. What would happen if neither of these were crossed? I'm just using green to represent that. Well, then we'd have a 1-9 pair up here, and we'd have a 1-9 pair down here, um, because we'd have to put the Audi uh, 2 and 4 down here. So, But that breaks the 9 clue, because this is 0 instead of 9. So there must be a crust in one of these two, but not both. So because there's a crust in one of these two, it's going to the right. So at best, let's see, 19, how many cells did it need? Uh, well, let's see, 7 plus 6 is 13, plus 5 is 18. So it needs at least four cells. So this is included. <laughs> Um, I don't know what else that does. And this is not crust. Hey, John McKeever, welcome back. What's that do? Now we know the line's not blue. Yep, we need both a 1 and an 8, and none of these are, and that's 7 cells. So this is not blue, it's some other region. Um, I mean, it could be yellow. I guess I don't have to make this yellow, since we have a border there. We can make this yellow. So, nine's at least too long. So this is this is crust because we're gonna have one nine here or here. Either way, making this crust, and that this is not crust. And then, how far can the nine reach? It can go three cells. So this cannot be crust either. Hey Logan, how you doing? Jayla, but yellow needs a 1 or 8. It needs both a 1 and an 8. Oh, right. So wherever the 1, 8 is here, it's not purple or blue. It could be yellow. Oh, and it's not yellow because, okay, so the 1 or 8 here is another region. Right, because of the rule that the sandwich crust is a different region than the sandwich uh, filling. So there's a there's a new color in one of these two. Yeah, and so now this can't be yellow. Let's let's mark it uh green, why not? True, purple could do this. Purple could do this, and this would be the purple one eight. There's no problem with that. Or blue could do this. That's definitely possible. That puts one eight in row two, column three, then. If it was in row two, column two, you'd have both a blue and yellow cell in row two, column three. Oh, 
Yeah, if this was the 1E, then both blue and yellow are fighting to grab this as their sandwich entered. Nice. So this is the 1E. Um, purple grows here. Blue grows here. This is the purple 1E. Purple 1E. Blue 1E. Oh, we know there's a border here, there's a border here, there's a border here, and a border here. And 19 has to be at least 4 long, so that grows. It almost feels like the purple should take this now. Um, let's see. Ah, and there's a border here as well. This 9 can only be 3 long, so these are... Oh, so that makes this blue. <clears throat> and there's a border here. Why do we say this can't be in? Did I just do that? I feel like I just did that. This could be two, three, four. Oh, right. This is the one eight's in one of these two, right? But it's this is. Right. Blue can only grab one eights. All right. So blue can't grow any further because it's got one, two, three, four, five, six already. So it's got a, um, it's got to end here. Cool. Um, that's a border. So these two add to nine. They're two, seven, three, six, or four, five. Not so helpful. Can I do can I do math here? Hold on. These add to 23, and these add to 9. That's 32, double counting that corner cell. But we know, we know that they add, they don't have the 1 or the 8, so they actually add to, what did we say, 27? So that places a 5 here? Is that our first digit? We also know these Audis, true. So that's a 2, and that's a 4. And that's a 4. I'm going to fill this quad for fun. Uh, two, three, six, seven. Column five, sandwich blue. Ah, this is a sandwich blue here, yeah. So it's going to start here. Um, six can only be too long. It's not going to be blue, not going to be yellow. I think this is a new color. Let's make this gray. Well, this is at least gray. Oh, but none of these can contribute to the six sum. So I was right. This is this is disambiguating some of them at least. So that's a six. This 8 clue has a border like that. Um, so whatever region this is in, it's got to get out, and it's not allowed to be yellow. So it's going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 
seven. Um, I'm going to make that red. And it's going to take one of these two. And then this is going to be uh, too long. You can't do eight and three. So this is a one eight. Ah, so that gives us eight and one. Uh, and eight. So it could take either of these eights. Unfortunate. Um, and these two sum to eight. So. There's a barrier here. Could these be yellow? Technically, yeah, they could be. Can row eight, column four be crossed? Um, right, so we can't be four, six. And then two cells adding to six would only be two, four, and that doesn't work either. So this is not crust, true. I don't know what to do with that. Let's see, this is not crust, this is not crust, this is not crust. These are one eight pair. And these two aren't crust. Oh no, this could be crust. Oh no, it's not, because it's going to grab an eight from one of these. So we know this isn't crust, we know that's not crust. So this has to be a 1-9. Sorry, 1-8. What what's a 9? Who said 9? Um, and this is a barrier. And then that puts a 1-9 here. And this is a barrier. And these two add to 10, and they are not blue, so they're a new region. Sorry, what's a nine? Um, so how do we add to 10? We can't be one nine, obviously. Can't be two eight. Uh three seven. Can't be four six. Okay, so it is three seven. I'm gonna get rid of these X's here. And now we know there's a barrier here, because this is an eleven clue. So ah, that puts a one eight right here. That's a barrier. Okay, so green can take one, two, one, two, three, four by going up, but it's got to do more. So it's going to go at least five, six, seven, eight. It's going to take these at least. <clears throat> so blue is going to need two one eights. They can only grow twice, and neither of these cells can be 1-8 because of this 1-8 pair and this 1-8 pair. So it can't get a 1-8 by leaving this way. So these must be blue. It's the only option. And now blue's done. Yay, finished region. Very cool. Um, so what's going on with purple then? Purple's going to have to get a 1, and it's going to come from over here. It's actually got to get a 1 from right here. It's the only way purple gets a 1. So I think these are both purple. If I could do the right mode here. Which means green has to grow, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... Hmm. I don't know which way it grows, though. Where does purple get an 8? Either here or here. 
So purple and red are fighting over these two eights. Oh, but there's a barrier here. Ah, so we we have disambiguated. Very nice. So purple's done. And red's done. Okay, I can argue that this is green, because if it's not purple or blue, so if it was some new color, it would come out, and now green's not big enough. So this is definitely green. It could just stay in here, though. In fact, this now, again, if this were not green, it would have to leave, and then green's not big enough. So this is green. And now green only has one place to grow to, and so that, that is the only way green works. Nice. So these are all some new region. Let's call it purple. Purple safe. Actually, if I could use a unique color, then people can call them by their name. How about orange? Two and purple. True. Ah, uh, eight C's down. That's a one. That's not a three. I said not a three. Um. Okay, I don't think these can be yellow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh. Uh, no, they can't be yellow because yellow would not get any one eights. That's the only way to draw it. So these are some new color. Um, the regions we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, yeah. Uh, what color am I missing here? These are these can be black. This sees one, two, three, four, five, and eight, so that's six or seven. Ah, we can do the Audis for this 19. So we have 19 plus 10, that's 29, plus one, that's 30. Wait, what are these out to? 37? Yeah, so that's a, well, they have 36, so that's a six. Um, ah, two is placed in this column here, the only place for it. That means that leaves a pair here. We have one, two, three, four, we need five and six here. We actually know the order. Very nice. Welcome back, Rip, Rip and Lippin. Um, let's see. This is a quad, let's fill it. We have one, two, we need three, four, five, and seven. Why not? That's not a three. Green eight. Um, not here. I don't know. Welcome back, Derek. Eleven is forced to be four seven. Okay, so where's our 11? Oh, this is our 11. So how do we add to 11? Uh, can't be 3, 8, so 4, 7, or 5, 6. What's wrong with 5, 6? What's wrong with 5, 6? You read wrong? Okay. So 5, 6 would be like this, and 4, 7 would be like that. So we are we are a bit limited.
Now, two needs to go in this row somewhere. If it were here, it would be in this eight. I'm going to draw this and this just so that we remember those are in the same uh, sandwich. Um, if this were two, then this would have to be six. And I don't see a problem with that, but it's good to keep that in mind. Can black digits be green? Well, green's over here. Yellow needs a two. I wanted people to be able to reference every region uniquely by color. Ah, true. Let's fill this. Let's fill this triple. Um, this is three, four, seven. So three, four, and seven are accounted for. So three, four, five, and seven are accounted for in yellow. So this is not yellow because it would be another four or five. So this is this is not none yellow. Um, that makes a border there. Yellow has to grow down. Um, Gray needs to get out of here, by the way. If row four, column eight is a three, then this is a five. And now you have four, seven in the sandwich. That breaks row three, column two, four, five, seven. Okay, so this is not a three. <laughs> Are, am I being encouraged to fill these? So we could be 2, 6, or 3, 5, but this isn't 3, so that's not 5. Okay, if this cell were some other... If this sandwich were not yellow, it would have to get out, and now yellow is done. Uh, way too early. So these two are yellow. That's good to know. There's a given three, so that's not three, that's not five. So this is a two six pair. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It needs a one or an eight next. Well, it can only grow here, so it's done. And this is a one eight, so that's not eight. And now this column needs a two, so it gets it here. Um, this is three, four, or five. This two looks right. That's six or two. Three, seven pair. Um, Six, seven pair in row three. True. That's not seven. We have all the, I know we have all the colors. Um, hold on. There's eight cells in here with a choke point. So if this choke point were used by anything else, yeah, I, I think that just forces this all to be black. Um, and now that I know it's black, I'm just going to make it a light gray instead. Um, this is six. And this is four, five, eight. This is seven, three, seven, three. These are not threes or sevens, so that's two and six. That's a four. Um, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. These are definitely gray, so they connect here. This eight has to be orange, because gray already has one.
Orange is going to get a two up here, one of these two. Also, eight's not going to go in this row anywhere. So eight goes here. This is not eight, so that's an eight. That's one and eight. That's a one. That's an eight. Uh, this is four or five. I need a two in the row. It can only go here because this green region already has a two. So this is four, five, seven. Pink has a four, five pair. So that's seven and three. So that's not seven. So this is seven and six. Yes, yeah, very neat puzzle, Matt Mathesto. Thank you. Let's see if we can finish it. This is a triple. We have one, two, we need three, five, and six. That's not a six. This is a pair. I need a one. That goes here, and I need a five. Orange could reach the five, but only if it blocks out gray. So this is a gray five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, it can't take these two, so those are orange. This six. Oh, this six is up. Okay. Um, this is a triple. I know we need a two. One, two, three, seven. One, two, three, four, five, and seven. That's not five. Ah, five looks up. That's three, that's five, that's six. That's a four, that's a five. That's not five. Let's see. That's not a four. That's not a four. The, that's not a two. Ah, so that places the orange two. Draw that border there. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this one's got to be gray. Row three is done. It sure is. Oops, I am in the very wrong mode. Let's fix that. Um, this is not a. F oh my gosh, come on. This is not a five. That's not a four. That's not a four. So that's the four. That's three. That's seven. That's five. This is four. Four or is already in gray. So that finishes these regions. Seven, three, uh, seven, three, and we're done. Very nice puzzle, Manifesto. Thank you. That was actually a very nice difficulty. It's a neat idea. 8x8 eight eight definitely helped the speed of it. Yeah, I think a 9x9 nine nine would have taken a lot longer. Is there such a thing as nice difficulty? Of course, it's the, the sweet spot of difficulty for the stream. All right. Sixty nine out of a hundred, true. That is a nice difficulty.
So this puzzle is uh, called Sudoku with No Given Digits by Sudoku with No Given Digits. It's also by Logan Wall. So, Logan, I saw you earlier. I hope you're still here. <laughs> this is a meme puzzle, I guess. So, I just hit marker, so I'm going to introduce again. This is called Sudoku with No Given Digits. It's by Logan Wall, a.k.a. Sudoku with No Given Digits. We have normal Sudoku rules with no given digits. Fill the entire grid such that digits 1 to 9 appear in every row, column, and box exactly once, and such that there are no given digits. We have normal thermo uh, rules. So the way thermos work is as from the bulb end, as you move along, digits strictly increase. And then given digits do not apply. Good thing there's no given digits. As I suspected, we have some given digits. All right. Well, good thing there weren't any given digits in this puzzle, or we'd have half the board filled already. Um, I think we definitely need to, to good lift this one, right? Okay, so that can't be five. Neither can that. These can't be sixes. Ah, so that can't be a five. There's a seven in the box. That's not five, so that's not four. That's not a six. That's not a three. CTC video link, three hours. True. All right, we got a one and one of these two. Four looks down. Oh, I missed the fours. This is a nine. Uh, we got a one in one of these two. Let's see, what am I... I got a four down here. Watch this just be a really hard classic. Um, seven's up here. <laughs> You're thinking set, maybe row, row one in box nine in purple and the left and middle thermos in green, true. Maybe an expanded Fisto? Just good lift the rest, yeah. Um, seven's one of these two. Two's one of these two. I'm being told this is naked. It sees one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. So I guess it's five or nine. Oh, I know it sees a five, so it's nine. Um, six inbox six. One of these. Ah, one of these. Ah, this one. <clears throat> we got there. This is one, two, three, seven. These aren't sevens. That's not a three. One, two pair. That's not a three. One, two pair. Two, seven pair. So this is a triple. We have one, two, three. We need four, five, six. That's not four. Josh, a nine cell Ren band would be better. That way you don't immediately place nine digits in your puzzle. 
Let's see. I feel like that's been done, though. Row 6, column 8. Okay, let's just do the whole column, because I'm lazy. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So this is not 4, 8, or 9, so that's a 7. It's a 7. Still a 4 down here somewhere. That's 3 and 7. Nine cell theorem would be more unexpected. Three, five, and eight. That's not an eight. Five. What if you made it a a, a bulbless thermo, so they don't know which direction it goes? That'd be kind of neat. Nine cell broken thermo. There you go. Oh, that sees eight and nine, so that's a four. That's season 9, so that's 8 and 9. That's not an 8. Um, 8's in one of these. A slow thermo. Well, slow thermo breaks set, so... Oh, you put a slow thermo on the grid, that set tells you must have the digits 1 through 9, and then, then it gets filled. Nine in box two is here. This nine looks in, and these two nines look out. That puts a nine here for similar reasons. How many nines do we have? One, two, three, four, five. We should be able to fill this nine, yep. And we should be able to fill this nine. Now nines are done. How are eights doing? Not as well. Sevens. Oops. Ah, yes, we have this seven. And we have this seven and this seven. Sevens are done. Eights. Oh, I already did eight sixes. Well, this is just a triple, so this should be filled. So let's do the triple first. We have one, two, three, four. We need five, six, and eight. Um, that's not a five. And so then this is a one. This is a pair, two and three. Nice, that makes a two, three pair here. So this is four, five, six. Most importantly, it's not a one, so that's a one. I actually did a video. Um, longest slow thermo. Um, Philip Newman made the puzzle. It's the the thumbnail is a turtle. Let's see, one, two, four. No, not four. One, two, five. That's not a five. That's not a one. That's not a one. So one's placed in the row. Did Mark showcase it? I don't know. Two, three pair looks up. That's five and two. Five, three, this is an eight, that's three, that's five. Four and eight. Not resolved. Um, let's see. Three, four, six, eight. These are not eights. That's not a three or a four. Or a six, so that's an eight. That's not an eight. Or a three. That's not a five. Um, Phillips wasn't hard at all. It was just a what? How long can we make a thermo? Not how hard can we make it? Um, this is not an eight. So five, six pairs. So this should be filled. That's a one. Um, how are we doing on ones? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so one in this box is here, and that places this one and this two. Um, what's left? That's not a three. So three's placed here. Uh, four, six pair makes that a five. True, that's three and two. Okay, using the thermo. 
That's three and two. Uh, this can't be four or six, so that's eight. And this is, of course, four or six. So this is a pair. We need a two, and we know where that goes. And we need a, whoa, what's going on? Um, we need an eight. That's six and four. That's five and eight. That's six and four and six and five. Four and eight. Three, four, six, four, six. Worm, did you win? Uh, this is two and this is five. There we go. 11 minutes, 40 seconds. Give me a second here. Where is it? Strange. Ah, here it is. Oopsie. Oh, thanks, Kenny, for the super chat. Kenny for donated six Singapore dollars through super chat. Forgetting the bet, sell right, smiley face. Forgetting the bets, all right. Very nice. So, um, this was this was Philip's puzzle. This is a slow thermo. I, I'm not solving it, but I, I did this on my channel. If you want, if you want the video, it's here. It's it's a meme. It solves very quickly. That's pretty long, right? It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven. Length thermo. <clears throat> you can probably guess how it feels. All right, let's actually move on to the next puzzle now. We're doing well on puzzles today. In terms of quantity, also quality. Yeah, Philip pretty much proved it was the max. All right, this puzzle is called "Are These Clues Are These Clues Useless?" by Sayori. Hopefully not. Um, we have normal Sudoku rules. Clues outside the grid give the sum between 1 and 9 in that row column. So we're doing sandwiches again. I feel like our, our streams are accidentally thematic. So this is a 7 clue. And so wherever we put the 1 and the 9, the digits in between sum to 7. So we could do, say, 3, 4, and that would work. Um, so wherever the 1 and 9 happen to go in the column, the digits in between must sum to the clue outside. Digits along green sum must differ by at least five. These are called German whisper lines. So, um, 
starting from here, so let's say this was a 4, the difference between uh, these two cells must be at least 5, and there's only one digit that fulfills that. So this would have to be a 9. But then from the 9, this could be a 1, 2, 3, or 4 if we were allowed to repeat the 4, um, which we're not. Um, so it could even be a 1. The difference is 8. That is at least 5. Um, so that's how German whispers work. And we have standard killer cages, so digits in a cage sum to the value in the top left. Um, and that's it. Those are the those are the rules. Um, it's actually fairly minimal in terms of cluing. So six cages are one five or two four. I'm, I'm willing to fill that. Um, let's see. I'm not sure where we're starting. I suspect one of the things we're going to have to think about is if this was a sandwich crust, this one cannot be a sandwich crust because it needs to be the same parity as this one, or the same high lowity as this one. Um, so we can't have a sandwich here and here start. Five and column eight. So as we know, fives can't go on German whisper lines. Um, but I don't see why I couldn't go in any of these. Okay, if the five were here, this would be four. And this would be 9. And this would be 2, 4. Just two lows. Summon box eight. Uh, how? Are we talking about the same thing here? I don't see how that's broken. OK. 
Okay. Yeah, so my initial thought about these sandwiches would be that we'd have a one nine like this and a one line like this with a sixes in between, but then that forces this one nine with a nine, and that's not possible. So I'm trying to figure out what that means. The six could also be two four. There's probably something about how the one nines need to go in this band, which is restricted by the, the whispers. Yeah, so these Yeah, and the other reason is we can't we can't ever do this because the six would force a one onto the whisper line. We'd have too many ones in the box. So what we could do is span like this and do a two four. Nine is in two cells only. No, it could be in three cells with two, three, four. I don't know what that means. Okay, so a six clue also can't do this fully in box five. Because that forces the other six clue. None of the none of these would be sandwich. So that forces the other six clue to do the, the bad thing. So both six clues come into box five, making aha, uh -huh, yeah. So both six clues come into box five but aren't fully in box five. We don't know exactly how they do it, but they're gonna have one nines. The one nines are used up by the six clues. So the nine clue can't be in box five at all. Uh, the, the sandwich ends can't be in box five at all. So it's gotta span it doing this. I think that's the only option. I hope that's the only option. Um. So what's that do for us? I mean the seven clue can only go too long. So I'm gonna I'm gonna green um what can't be one nines here. Um Ah, so we have one, two, three, four used. So these are high. And these are low. And I'm thinking, obviously one of these is five. Um, I'm thinking that that means that 
lows in column eight are sus. So there's two lows in column eight now. If this were two four, then that would also be two. That would be the end of the lows. So we'd have these would be highs. And hmm. it doesn't seem problematic. Oranges are, let's see, can this be six? This can't be six because that would be double one. So yeah, these are a seven, eight pair because nine is used. Because these are from one, two, three. And this is a 5-6 pair, yeah. Now how do we do the 6 quiz? I wonder if the 7 is what disambiguates them. Ah, this can't be a 1-2 pair on the Whisper. True. If So if this didn't have a 3, then this would now be a 4-5, adding to 9, not 6. So this must have a 3 on it, which forces this to be the 8 and this to be the 7. Which means this is a 1-2 pair. Which means this, the cell, okay. I'm trying to figure out how the six clue works. Um, I don't quite get it. We know they come into this box somehow. Ah, the one two pair does give the nine and the one. That's true. Ah, and that disambiguates this as a two three pair, which means this can't be two four, so it's one five. We have our five now. Four in the column could be here with a nine, could be here, can't be here because that can't be nine. Could be can't be here because that can't be five. So four is here or here. And that's our last low. So these are both high and this is low. I don't know if you guys followed that, but basically our only low left is 4. This can't be 4 because that would be a 9, and that's too big for the 9 cage, and this can't be 4 because that would be 5, and that puts a 5 on the whisper. Um, so these are from, naively, 6, 7, 9. 6 would put a 1 here and an 8 here. That doesn't work. So that's not a 6. So... 6 would put a 3 here and a 9 here. That seems to work okay. 7 would put a 1 or a 2 here, and that would be with a... It would have to be a 2. 7, 2... Okay, so this is adding to 9. We'd be 6, 3, 7, 2. This is obviously not a 9. Um, okay. Ah, but no matter what, this is a 9. Because if this is a 3, that must be a 9. If this is a 2, that makes this a 7, still makes this a 9. So this is always 9. Um, so this is 4, 6, 7. Whichever six clue is started with row four, column two, or row six, column two, yeah, the six has to go in. Ah, that's a really good point from Jaleb. So one of these will be a one, which will be a sandwich crust for a six clue. Can we do, let's, let's just pick one of them, because it's all symmetric. Can we make this a 2, 4? Well, this can't be 2, so this would be 4. But this can't be 2 or 4, so that, that's just broken. So this would be a 6, and this would be a 9. 
Um, or this would be 169. Either way, there's a 6 in one of these two. And that does disambiguate. There's a 6 in one of these two, and there's a 9 in one of these two, and that disambiguates this 5 and this 6. Um, so if this is a 4, then this is a 9. If this is a 6, this is a 1. If it's a 7, oh, can't be 6 1, because the 1's in here. So this would be 7 2. So that means 6 is in one of these two. Um, hmm. Okay, so let's say this was a 9. This would be a 6 9. So how would we do we do 6 1? What's wrong with that? I'm not seeing the problem. Okay. How can the column 3, 7 clue be 2, 5? Okay, so this 9 is starting a clue that goes this way or this way. This cell can't be two, 1, 2, or 5, or 7. So 1 doesn't matter, but it uh, can't be 2 or 5. So this can't, we couldn't make 2, 5 out of 7. We also couldn't be a single 7, so the only option is to do 3, 4. So we're going to be doing a 3, 4 this way or a 3, 4 this way. Um, either way, none of these are sandwich. Actually, none of these are sandwich at all. Maybe I don't need the green anymore. I think the green is, is not as helpful, but uh, it's helpful for that column. I'll leave it for the column. Um, so we're going to have 3, 4, uh, 1, or 3, 4, 1, but I don't know which way it goes. So these are these are from three, four, six for sure. Going down breaks the seven cage. So if this was three, four, and this was one. How do we add to 7? Well, it's not adding to a 7 with 1, 6, or 3, 4, or 2, 5. That does break it. You're right, Derek. So the 3, 4 goes up this way. This is a 1. Okay. Um, I actually need a quick break, so give me one second. Sorry about that, I'm back. So this is the 6, 
This is one and two. This dips disambiguates a bunch. This is three and two. That's four and three. Um, I think highs and lows aren't going to be super helpful anymore, so we're going to undo that. This is a pair. Actually, we need a three and an eight. It's an eight down here. Um, okay, so we need the other six clue to work. So this, this, this six clue needs to be done. If this were a nine, this would have to be three, three. So that doesn't work. So this is the nine. And then this is six and one. I think that's the only way to do it. So what's left is five and seven. We have a seven clue here. So <clears throat> this could be two, five, nine, though. Where you go up. Ah, this one does look right, so that's five and one. Oh, is the seven cage done now? Yeah, so this, this could be one, six. Can't be two, five, can't be three, four. So it is one, six. Um, so these are from four, five, seven. Okay, I've got a seven clue here. So this can't be one, seven, nine, because the seven sees here. So this, the seven goes this way. So this could be a seven by itself. We can't do one, six, we can't do two, five. So this would be, or it'd be a three, four. So is there a problem with three, four, nine here? Not that I can tell. So there's a nine in one of these two. If this was a two four cage, along with the three here, that would force it to be seven nine. If this were a one five cage, this would be seven, and this would have to be three four nine. That's an interesting interaction. Breaks column five sandwich. Ah, true. If this were 7, 9, then now this sandwich has to be 7 also. That's very clean. So that's not 7. This is 3, 4. This is the 9. And now that that's 3, 4, this cannot be 2, 4. We'd have too many 2, 4, 2, 3, 4s. So this is 1, 5. That makes this a 7. That's 5. These are not 7. Uh, so now, now this can't grow up because it would have to be three, four, and nine. That, there's a lot of reasons that doesn't work, actually. Actually, these just can't be sandwich ends at all because they see ones and nines. So we actually have to do two, five here. Two, five, nine. Yeah, yeah. Two, five, nine. Um, so these are not twos. This is an eight. Um, there's a one here. Almost all with ones. Aha, there's a one here for this row. Um, what else we got? We, we haven't looked at some of these German whispers still. So. This can't be three or four, because that would require eight or nine here, and it can't be. So this is a high digit. This is six, seven, or eight, naively. Um, but they can't be six, because this can't be one. So this is two or three. That's a two, three pair. Not sure if that does anything yet. Um, 
we also have this one. So the low is going to be a 2 or a 4. 4 would require 9. 2 would require 7 or 9. Two, four, seven, nine, almost quad. Ah, nine is placed in this box. Or row, however you want to see it. Column five. All right, let's take a look. We have one, two, we need three, four, six, seven, eight. What exactly are we seeing here? It's not a three. I am not seeing your triple. Oh, box two has a three, four pair. That is very true. So yes, this is a six, seven, eight triple. So this is three or four. But there's a two, three pair. So that's four, that's three, that's four. All our sandwiches are done, right? Yeah, it looks like it. This can't be four anymore? Four looks down, that's three and four. Five and box two is here because the one five pair that looks up. So we need a two, six, seven, eight here. No sevens. This is also two, six, eight. This is a triple. So we need two, three. And seven. That two, three, seven puts an eight here. No eights here, no sixes here. So this is the six. That puts a six here. That puts a three here for the sum. So that's two. All right, things are collapsing. Six sees left. So you have one and six, five and one. Um, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. These are seven and eight. Uh, let's see. I live in uh, California, San Diego, California. Let's see, one, two, three, four, seven, nine. That's not a nine. That was not helpful. Try something else. We have one, we need two, three, four, oops, five, seven, eight. That's no five. Uh, two, five, seven, eight. That's not an eight. Uh, still not that helpful. Uh, what am I missing? Let's see. Two, six, seven, eight. Oh, this isn't a nine anymore. So this can't be a four. Does that help? Two, six, seven, eight. It's not a six. So a problem with four, nine, or two, seven. Well, two, seven, if this were seven, two, then this would be a nine, two, six, eight, I mean, it resolves, but it's not broken. Oh, there's definitely a 2 on this whisper, though. That's true. So that removes 2 from all of these cells. 5 in row 3, I'm being told, is interesting. This 5 keeps it out of here. Oh, yeah, these 5s just look over and place a 5 in this box. Um... Clean up column eight. That's not a six, true. Four seven pair means this is a three and a seven. 
That's not a seven. That's not a seven. I'm guessing that means two, five, eight is what's left here. And that's going to only be eight because of the two, five. That's not an eight. That's not an eight. That's not an eight. Two, five pair. This is a seven and an eight. That's a four and a seven. There we go. Four, nine. That's all was a four. Congrats to anyone about four. This is a two, seven pair. We still don't know the order. But that makes this a six and an eight. This is four and oh, that's a nine. And this is a four. Um, what's here? Three. This is two, four, five. That's not a five. Okay, what am I missing? Um, there's no six here. Ah, uh, it's no eight here either, so that's the eight. So, quad left in the box. We have one, we need two, three, six, and seven. So, what can't be what? That can't be three, two, six, seven. Um... Ah, this AC is over. That's a 2 and that's an 8. That should help. Maybe. That's not a 6. Or a 3. So that's 7, that's 4, that's 2. That's 5 and 4. That's 7, 2, 6, and 3. 7 and 6. 2 and 7. 2 and 5. And we're done. Very nice puzzle, Sayori. Those, um... The interaction here was very neat with the, the sandwich clues and the vertically striped German whispers. Oh, Logan, that's a shame. I hate when that happens. I, th I think all of us have done that before. <laughs> Hey, Proto-Rush. What was your previous name? Rest a lot. It. Got it. Well, welcome, welcome. Alright, this is going to be the last puzzle of the stream. And then we'll do some word games. Hey Eric, how you doing? Alrighty. This puzzle is called Ermometi, Ermometi, Hermometi, Hermometi, one of those, I'm sure. Um, it's by Directionary. Normal Sudoku rules apply. So in every row, column, and 3x3 three three box, we have the digits 1 to 9 exactly once. Uh, variant. The bulb and tip of each thermo should read as a two-digit number, with the bulb equals the tens digit and the tip equals the ones digit. This two-digit number gives the sum of the digits in between the bulb and tip of that thermo. Okay, so if the bulb was a three and the tip was a seven, then the numbers in between the three and the seven, these would have to add to 37. I don't think that's possible. Let's do it. Let's do an example that actually works here. Um, let's say this was one and nine. Then these three cells would have to add to 19. So we could do, for example, um, four, seven, eight, and those should add to 19. So this would be a valid bulb. You read one, nine, that's 19, and then the digits in between sum to 19. 
So it's kind of like a sandwich thermo-ish thing. Um, kind of neat. I like it. Let's see how it solves. And then, of course, they are normal thermos, so digits increase from the bull bend. So from here, the digits have to increase as you move along. They can't repeat, and they can't go down. Um, so what's our longest thermo? Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Okay, well, I'm going to Google lift this one. So the maximum this can sum to is five, six, seven, eight. Uh oh, numlock's not on. 26. So this cannot be 3 or 4. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Okay, so this is 1, 2, 3, 2, 3, 4, 3, 4, 5, 4, 5, 6, 5, 6, 7, 6, 7, 8, 7, 8, 9. So these can sum to 4 plus 5. Plus six plus seven plus eight, that's thirty. So that's that's not quite big enough for this to be a three. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. And so this is the same. This can't be a three. So 8, 7, 6 sums to 21. So this could still be a 1 or 2. Oh, no, but 21 is now good, because that would have to be a 1. So this is a 1. I think we have our first digit. Because 8, 7, 6 is 7 times 3, which is 21. So 21 absolutely breaks the thermo. So this is a 1. Yay. We have a digit. Almost done. Um, just 80 to go. Oh, it's the word thermometer without the T and the R. I get it. So it's hermometer. I get it. Now what? Well, let's see here. Two, three, four, five. This sums to five through nine. So I'm thinking that the ends are also restricted. So if this was a five, this would be four, three, two. That only adds to nine. That's not 15. If this were a six, we could do five, four, three. That's 12. That's still not big enough. If this were a seven, we could do six, five, four. That's only 15. That's not big enough. If this were an eight, we do seven, six, five. Six times three is 18. That works. So we can be an eight or a nine. Let's see. Do I need to look at these other ones? So six, five, four, three, two. We know what that adds up to. Um, it adds to 20. I know that off the top of my head. Um, so 6, 5, 4, 3, 2 adds to 20. That is very much not uh, 17. So this can't be a 7. Uh, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3 is 25. Can we get down to 18? 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 is... Four, five, six. It's twenty. So eighteen's not possible because these sum to minimum twenty. Wait, if these sum to minimum twenty, how can this ever be a one? So this is a two. Now these sum to a minimum three, four, five, six, seven which is 28 minus 3, that's 25. Okay, so either this 28 or 29 is possible. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 sums to 30, so yeah. We can get to 28 or 29, but um, 
Maybe if these are low, that's not possible. So this isn't a 7, right? Because if this is a 7, then we know the sum, and the sum's going to be... Wait, doesn't that force that to be 9? So if this is a 7, then we know the sum is 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. That's 28 minus 3. That's 25. That doesn't work. So this has to be an 8. That forces the 9 here. This is not 8, so that's not 7, 6, 5. And this is not 9. Um, now what happens if this is 6? This is 6, then we're 3, 4, 5, 6, 8. That's only 26. So this has to be a 7. So that's not a 7. So now what happens if... I think there's only one way to do this, but I need to figure out which way. Um, if this was 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, that's 27. So this is a 6. Um, this is weird. So if this were 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, that's 28. That doesn't work. So this is a 5. And I think this has to be a 3 now. 3, 5, 6, 7, 8 is 29. So that's a 3. Probably could have figured that out because there was one degree of freedom on it. Um, let's see. Um, okay, so now the minimum of these four is 2, 3, 4, 5, which sums to 14. That seems okay. But if this were a 5, that would be forced, and I can't actually do 14. So that's not a 5. Which means this has to be 8. That's not an 8, by the way. Um, so, if this were a 6... Hmm, actually, let's look at this 4. If this were 4, 3, 2, that adds to 9. Um, 9 plus 6 is 15, 9 plus 7 is 16, none of those add end at 8. So this can't be a 4. Um, if this were a 3, we'd add to 5. Um, I don't know, it feels like that's hard. 5, these would max out at 6, 7. That's 18, that would work. If this were 5, sorry, if this were 3, 2, this could be 6, 7, and then this would be 18. Can we actually get to our 20s still? I think we... Can we get to 28? That's a good question. 4, 5, 6, 7 is only 22. So no, that's a 1. Um, so these will sum to 18. It's probably a cleaner way to think about all this. Oh, this is a 6 because it sees a 5. So that's a 7. So we know these add to 18. These already add to 13. So these need to add to 5, so they are 3, 2. So that's not a 3, that's not 4, 5, 6. That's not a 7, that's not a 6. That's not a 3. That's not a 2, that's a 1. Um, let's fill this triple. So we need a 1, 2, and a 4. Yeah, that wasn't helpful. I wanted it anyway. Um, so... 17 or 19. If this is 17, then this is actually for 6, 5, 4, 2. And 6, 5, 4, 2 is 17, so that works. If this is 19, then we have 2 degrees of freedom on 6, 5, 4, 2. Um, how would we use that? That could become an 8, but otherwise we couldn't do it. I think this is always 5, 4, 2, because we can't spend 2 degrees of freedom anywhere else. Um, just one way to put that is if this was 4, if this was um, 4, 5, 7, that's already 16. Um, so this has to be 2. If this were 5, then we'd be 2, 5, 7, 8, and that's 22. So this has to be 4. If this were 7, we'd be 2, 4, 7, 8, and that's 21. So this is a 5. And then the 6, 8 determines the 7, 9. This is a 1. I knew that would come in handy. Never doubted it. Now I'm guessing this last thermo is useful. Um, 18 or 19 and 3. 
The lowest digit is minimum three. What would happen if we made it four? Four, five, six would be 15. So that's fine. So this could be three or four. If this were a, this, this were a six though, six, seven, eight is already 21. So this can't exceed four. Wait, did I count this wrong? 2 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 is 17. That works. 2 plus 4 plus 5 plus 8 is 19. That works. Um, okay, how big can this one be? It's minimum 4, but it can't be 4. So minimum 5. But if it were, let's see. If this were a 3 and we wanted to add to 19, 19 minus 3, this could add to 16 max. We're not in any danger of adding to 16, are we? In fact, we can't add to 16. Wait, can we add to 15? I think we might have to be... Okay, if this was a 3, these need to add to 15 or 16. They can't add to 16. To add to 15, they'd have to be 7, 8. But that that only has 18. So this can't be a 3. This must be a 4. 3 is too low. So now these add to 14 or 15. So this can't be a 5. Because um, 5, 9 doesn't work. Um, 14 or 15. So 6, 8, 9. Hold on. How do we get... I think this has to be 7, 8. That's the only way. 7, 8, 9 is the only way. I don't know exactly why, but that's the only way. Was that my example? I don't even know. And we're done. All the cells are full. Okay, next book. No, okay. Um, that was my example. I wonder if that's the only way to do it, to be honest. Probably restricting five out of here was important. Now we do Sudoku. Um, okay, I'm just going to do this whole row if we supposedly have naked. Uh, two, three, six, seven. So this is not a 2 or a 6 or a 3, so that's a 7. None of these are 7. These aren't 3, so that's a 3. 2, 6 places 4 and 2. Um, where's our low-hanging fruit? We've got a lot of 1s. But they don't... Let's see, 1s are... Okay, this is a quad. Let's just do this. We need 1... Three, four, five. These aren't ones, these aren't threes, these aren't fours. Uh, that's all I get there. Sudoku in my Sudoku puzzle? How dare you, Derek, how dare you. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. These are not 8s. These are not 7s. Do I remember how to do Sudoku at this point? This is a 2. That's 6 and 2. 4 in column 1, I'm being told, is interesting. Yes, that goes here. Um... Seven looks up. It sure does. That's a one nine pair. If I type it correctly. So this is eight and seven. How about this quad now? We have one, two. We need three, four, five, six. Nice. That's not a six. These aren't threes or fours. So this is five and six. Three, four pair does not look resolved to me. 
I'm just going to look at these. We need one, three, four, five, nine. These aren't fives. These aren't a one, nine pair. These aren't four, five. So that's the three, four, three. This is not three or four, so that's five. These are not threes. That's not a four. Involves scanning or something? Oh gosh, I'm terrible at that. Um, two and one of those. Hmm. I don't see any low hanging fruit here. I'm going to go through all the digits. Okay, so we got a two and one of these, one of these, one of these, and that's all the boxes. Threes? Uh, three's in one of these, one of these, uh, one of these, wait, that works, yes, so three is, three is here, okay, we got a three, guys, are you proud of me? Box 4 needs a 7, says who? So one of the, ah, box 4 has a 7 and one of these. That looks down, making this 9, 8 by our some sum e logic. So that's not a 9. 8's in one of these. Alright, um, what do 4's look like? 4's in one of these too. Four is one of these two. Okay, how about fives? Sixes? Sixes up here somewhere. Six is one of these two. All right, sevens? Eights. Ah, we have a hidden eight here. And that places an eight here. Can we finish the eights? An eight here and here. And that's all the eights. Sweet. Okay, how about nines? Nines are one of these two. Nine's one of these two. In fact, is this a seven nine pair? Yeah, this is seven nine. We know the order. That's helpful. Um, this is a triple. So what is this? We have one two three four. We need five six seven. So that's not a seven. Um, that's not a six or a seven. So that's a five. Six and seven. That's six and four. Hey, our corner marks came in handy. Um. Five and six, go this way. Nope. If I actually knew what digits were missing, I would have placed the correct ones. All right, it's nine and two there. What do we need here? We need a five and a six. We know the order there. Um, this is four and one. Nope. Yep. Four and one and nine and one. Uh, three five pair is unresolved as of yet. This is a three and something. Three and seven, it looks like, so we know the order. Upside down six is close enough. I agree. Uh, one, two, and s one, two, and six. Okay. Here we need one, two, seven, nine. Seven only goes here. This is not a 1 or a 9, so that's the 2, that's a 1, that's a 2. 
That solves a two. Congrats to people who bet two. Um, what do we got here? Okay, this box needs a one. That's going to go somewhere here. This box needs a three. That's going to go somewhere here. We need a four. That's going to go somewhere here. We need a five. That goes in one of these two. We need a six. Six is placed, so that puts six and three and four and five. Um, and then we have one and nine left, so those go like, oops, those go like this. Four and one, five and three, and we're done. 22 minutes, not bad. Thank you, Derek. If I was faster at classic Sudoku, then it would have been less time. We're game time, yep. How do you make a custom Sudoku? Um, why don't you get some help on the Discord in one of the Sudoku channels? I'm sure someone was would be happy to help you out. All right. Let's go to word game. So just give me a moment to get that set up. And uh, you guys get to watch an ad for some reason. Thank you to Ice Cube for the super chat and recognition of Great Night of Puzzling. Right as I hit the ad break, too. Very much appreciate it. Screaming Ice Cube donated five Canadian dollars through super chat in recognition of a great night of puzzling. Just gotta size this correctly. We aren't doing Samantle, but I have to have Samantle open or my capture doesn't find it. Let me make sure this is all looks good here. Ah, we have a little bit of white on the bottom. There we go. Thanks again, Ice Cube. I very much appreciate it. You're you're always uh, a joy to have in the stream. All right. So, the concert hall was filled with beautiful and blank music that night. Serene? That's not long enough, is it? Brian says everything amazingly. Brian is the best. Um, intricate? This could be a lot of words. It starts with C. What starts with C here? Complicated um, has two C's, but I'm going to try it anyway because that'll get us a lot of words. All right, a lot of words, a lot of letters. I am my bra my brain is gone. You guys, I'm going to be leaning on you guys. Um. Celestial. That works. Very nice. Good job, HB. All right, Squirtle. Um, we'll start with music. Alright, did not place the C. Uh, 
one of these is an N. That's interesting. One of these is a U. We should test a U here then. Um, it's a word that's U T. Butch works. No, there, uh, yeah, that's fine. Let's try Butch. Okay, so we placed the U here. Um, we think we placed the C. Yeah, we did. There's an H. I wonder if this is like lathe. Um, this could be OU, or this could be U, and then an O here. What if I just did like flack or something? Or Yeah, it can't be black, so... Hey, I got some letters right. It's not CK, as people thought it might be. Um, we know a lot of letters that aren't in this one, but this one here, I could try ought. Hey, it is. Very cool. Okay, we, can we figure out any of these words? Um, I, as I point at the entire grid. Uh, yeah, very good, Derek. Ah. Uh. Wait, this ends in GHT, so... Like, fight? Or eight? Having an E here would make a lot of sense. Like... Brown coming down. That could work. Night and fence. I like that. There's an H in this word. It's not lathe, unfortunately. It's gotta be TH, right? I don't know what to guess here. See you, Logan. True. What if this was fetch and tight? So then this can the H can be here, and we could be like I don't know, not hutch, but. There must be a word that's H something T, right? Unfortunately, there's no C in the word and it doesn't end in H. Hotel. There's no L in the puzzle. Hated. Hated works. Ooh, it's probably hater. But at least we learned there's a D. This is probably D. Dater, no, de deter, and hater, and food. Oh, 
Let's get fetch. Nice. You're right. Tight. Ter. Now we just have to figure out this word. Fjord? I like food better. Not fjord. Unfortunate. Food. Oh, there's an N. Really? Where? Oh, there's an N in the puzzle and we haven't used it. Frond? Oh, you guys all said it. And here I was thinking I was smart. There is an R in the word. True. Um, all right, let's move on. Uh, two words for the dortle? Um, fetch an ought seems pretty good. Frond hater? What do you, what do you have against fronds? Frond hater is all unique. No, it's not. The R repeats. I like fetch an ought. Let's do fetch an ought. <sighs> Frons know what they did. <laughs> um, it was worth a try. Tread, my favorite word. How did I not think of that? It's because my brain is off right now. Literally off. Um, but I'm here for you guys, because I know you guys like the word games. Um, proof? That's pretty good. Nice. Proof tread. It's not the Tuma. It wasn't. It was a tutor. You guys want letters? Very nice. Now we're just going to use two words for the octortal, chaff and notch. All right, we need letters. Guile does get us all the vowels. Uh, 
build. Build misses the E. I'm going to go with Guile. And let's see. Wow. I think we need another guess. AOI. Interesting. Audio? No. I'm thinking this. Must be, right? Very nice. This one I'm thinking ends in EAN. I don't know how that works. It doesn't have to. Raven. Could be. All right, we need a word with an R and a V in it that's not Raven. Gets us some letters we don't have. Maybe a Y? I think a very, no, very is, two, is four letters long. Hervey. That works. Not Raven. I can I don't think it's this form. Come back to that. Just I. Hooky? Giddy. Giddy is good. Howdy. Wait, this has almost all of Pervy as an H. Hyper. Gross. Ends in ER. Has an S. Saner. <clears throat> Gray. No. There's no P. Stray. All right. We're going to use two, three words for the set of portal. That's what we decided on. Giddy, howdy, gross. What a what a good set of words. Um, two S's. Hussy. Hmm. 
I think it's gotta be. I want this to be Grant. Green also works. Okay, let's do a word with E, A, T, and N in it. Um... I think I'd rather do plant and just not have a oh, plain word. Nah, let's do plant. We'll get the E later. One of these words will have an E in it. Okay, so this is graft. Float. Ooh, swarm is good. Ooh, I like human. Is stoop a word? I mean, it accepts it. I'm going to come back to that. This is just furry. T O wrong. Nice. Solely or sulky. Hockey. Covey. This has an O, A, and I in it. Voila. Very nice. So this is solely. Oh, we got a C in here. Where's this O go? Oh, over here, sauce is good. Okay, there's an E in this word. Decor. Very nice. Um,
Rocky, of course. Um, ends in C-A-E-A-C-H, Leech. Ends in U-N-C-E. Ooh, Ounce. I like it. Okay, this one is S E setup. Nice. C O. This is Covey. Wait, is there a V? Yes. Nice. We got him. One with a guest to spare. That was a tough start, too, with Giddy Howdy Gross. So, uh, Adoptal, this kitty is up for adoption. I wonder if it's Julia. Got it in one. <laughs> She's a young, small, female, Russian blue, located in Phoenix, Arizona. She's got the same coloring as Claudia. There's Claudia. Hey, Tony. All right, let's do a vertle. Script is a word, I think. What else? Crisp. Easy game. Apple would be the more obvious choice. Or happy. Or poppy. All right. Starting with crisp. Hmm. Loathe without an E? Okay, U and E must be used. Um, fudge is perfect. Okay, we have four letters. I like shake. Very close. Shave. Shame. Got it. <laughs> if 
Very nice, Jessica. All right, wordsy. Um, yeah, we can give it five minutes. All right, we'll start with uh, shame. And then... Pouty? Whoa. And then... No, we're doing 20 now. Ring. Absolutely none of these have five. This is probably the best one than this first one. Last has all the letters? Oh, yeah, last has all the letters. Let's do this one, then. Um, Snout. S. Snout. Snout does not use two from shame. And too many from pouty. I'm thinking SM. S P E. Oh, S P E. N T. That works. All right, what did we learn? Not much. If N is in, then it's green, which we already know. That's a tough result. How about this one? We got three greens from spent. And none of them are the green from ring. Oh no, N could be the green from ring. Okay, so S is out. N from ring is probably true. What if it was ENT? That would actually work really well, because then this would be that, and that, and that. So we just need two new letters, or reuse one of these. Wait, what would that be, though? That doesn't make sense to me. Event? Ooh, very good. Yes, we got one. Okay. So this V is in. Let's just mark that. But this one has three from event. So e the E... Wait a minute. So N and T are out. Wait. Hold on. One of E and... Uh, how do we interpret this? I don't even know. N is out. We can say that. Um... Right, we can't have both this E and this T in. In fact, E wait, this E this E must be in. Because if this E were in, that E would be yellow. So that this E is in for sure. Um and then we're either E E again or we have the V. So S H A M are out. T and P are out. Q is out because it can't be placed where the E is. Oh, all three are in. We're E-V-E. 
and we end in Y? Every. Perfect. I don't know what just happened. Got it. <laughs> okay, so we've learned that there's no R or Y on this one. Um, have we learned anything here? Ooh, this is interesting, isn't it? Only one of E, V, E, R, Y is in. So N and T must both be in, and one of them is green. I'm going to go with N. It has to be. Um, e being yellow makes a lot of sense. Could end in N E. Y is out. One of O U is in. I don't think we have enough to go on here. H A. Okay, M is not placed. I don't think we have enough to go on for that one. A tone. That works. Very nice. Has that been five minutes yet? Nine forty oh three. Yeah, it's been five minutes. So we're moving on. We'll do more tomorrow. Not tomorrow. Uh, probably Sunday. Actually, I probably need to make an announcement. But there's going to be no streams on Saturday because I'm uh, Jessica's having her birthday party on Saturday, and I'm going to that. So I'll be up in LA. Um, so I probably won't have time to do the streams on Saturday. I'll make an announcement. Um, I like heard. <coughs> Yeah, where's Omega? Good question. Um, H. Well, I kind of want to do round here, so I will. Okay. Loner's not a bad guess. <laughs> hey, Erica. The R is almost placed. Very nice. Good job, Okazoo. So we have an L and an A. The A is placed. Um, is it something like ALL? -L? Sure, I'll try flail. Close. Wait, yeah. Um, a veil. All righty. Horse random. Nice, we got the R. Um, I 
RTY. I like strum. Why is it type so weird when I do that? Whoa. We almost got it in two. Almost. All right. Oops. Come on. There we go. Um, Wagon? That works. Okay, we got the O N correct. Demon. Very nice. Sweet. All right, the Fibble. Hope the Fibble treats us nice today. Um, okay, so either there's no O or the O is fourth. So O fourth is weird though. Okay, one of these O's is lying. So there's definitely an R in the puzzle. We don't have enough similarities. Demon? True. Okay, so I think there's no O. Statistically. N's disagree, so there is no O. So there's a R and an M. So this M, well, this M could be lying, but if it is, it's green. Oh, and the Ds are lying. So because D and N are lying, we know that these are true. That worked out. So... There's definitely an R, definitely an A, definitely an M. Humid. No, the M, the M's not lying in either place, so the M cannot be in the middle. Um, none of the yellows that I have per, uh, outlined on the keyboard are, are lying or outlined here. Drama? This R can't be lying. Smart. Smart works. I don't see any lies.
Yeah, one of the letters could be green, the T could be gray or yellow even. Um, admit. There must be an R and no M in the middle, true. Mural. I think that works. Very good, Kenny. So there just wasn't a D or an N. All right. We're going to skip Scott Swap Word. We're going to skip Wordalations. We're going to skip Lord of the Rings. Uh, we'll do Treckle because that tracks Streak. Commander today. Let's get letters. Spore drive, okay. Tapped our streak. I don't really care about Hogwartle. Cosmirtle will do. Has to be AR, right? Derek, good job. You you guessed the weird name correctly. Very far from Brazil. Very close to China. Laos. Ooh, Kessel. Instagram awesome in three sixty. Are we are we floating? Where are we? Oh, we're on the street. Uh, Largo de Miguel de 
Portugal. I wonder if we're in Portugal. <laughs> License plates are Portugal too. Lisbon. Close. This place. Close. That has a castle symbol. No. Alright, I gotta find the street. There's no other castles. It was Largo de, de Miguel. Trying to find it. What are these street names? I'm not sure. It's not this thing, is it? No. Nope. It's not narrowing down the circle at all. <sighs> no idea. So tired. It's like a castle with a greenery in the middle. But it's not that big, so I'm not sure how big it'll be on the map. Is it this thing? No, that doesn't look the same. Not at all. This thing? Street names don't match. Yeah, tough one. Alright, let's um... Whoa. We're in a church. And we're very low. Now we're very high. How'd we get in a church? Low cam, yes. Our de Sao Mark. Let's find a big street so we can orient ourselves here. They even have big streets here. These are so thin. Can't drive here. How do they drive here? Oh my 
gosh. Alright, this is a slightly bigger street. Largo dos Colegios. There it is. So this is Largo dos Coligias. So we're somewhere near here. Is it this thing? We went through these weird alleyways. Maybe we're in here. Bottom left. This thing. Nice. The Cathedral of Evora. Nice. We did it. Well, that'll be the stream. Thanks, everybody. Big thanks to Kenny, oh, David Ratner, Kenny, and Screaming Ice Cube for their super chats. Very much appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Thank you to all my super supporters, The Asylum, Peter, Distensity, David Ratner, Sotek, Franco, Jonathan, Mathgeek, and Kenny. Thank you again. And thanks to all my members and patrons. Don't forget to like the stream on your way out. And if you see my videos out in the wild, give them a like and a comment. That helps out as well. And I'm very tired, so I'm going to end stream. So, um, again, there, okay, no stream tomorrow because I never stream on Fridays. No streams on Saturday. Normally I have two streams on Saturday. I'm canceling both of them because I'm going to Jessica's birthday. Um, so I can't promise that we'll have any streams on Saturday. So the next stream will probably be Sunday evening for Word Games. So thanks everybody, and I'll see you all on Sunday.